Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Rhyme Fest. Kim Kardashian, Chrissy Teigen, Drake situation, Kanye, honey, some of you involved in this damn story, it's insane. So I want to go ahead and break this down to you guys. So like I told you in the other video, what initially happened is um, Pusha T started all of this, okay? Pusha T from Good Music. He did a diss track towards Drake called Infrared. Drake came back with Duppy, where he basically bodied Pusher T. And then in classic Drake style, he sent Pusher T and Good Music a bill, okay, for promotional value. He basically sent them a bill for $100,000 and then Drake said, you're welcome. Because he knows just all of this promotion is really helping push your T when it's all said and done, okay? So after Drake posted that invoice um, for Good Music, Rhyme Fest, who also works with Good Music and Kanye, he's also in charge of running Donda's house. He responded to that invoice and this is what Rhyme Fest had to say. And this is what kicked everything off between him and Kim Kardashian. So Rhymefest says, Drake, when Good Music sends the money they owe you, will you please help us rebuild Kanye's mother's house for the youth of Chicago? I spoke to Kanye about it, and his response was, fuck the youth of Chicago. I'm asking at Drake to help the part of Chicago Kanye has abandoned. Please contact at Donda's house. Well, I wasn't expecting that shit, okay? Because the way Kanye's always screaming, I'm from Chicago, I am Chicago, Chicago this, Chicago that. You would think he was really running this foundation and being, you know, very much involved. But Rhymefest is saying something totally different. So when his tweets went viral, Kim Kardashian was not here for the foolishness, honey. She was like, hold up, what you say about my man? Kim Kardashian ran there like a superhero with a cape on, honey, to have Kanye's back. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Kim Kardashian had to say to Rhymefest. Go ahead and check this out. So Kim Kardashian says, you haven't been right since you got kicked out of the studio in Hawaii wearing fake Yeezys at Rhyme Fest. You're over leveraging Kanye's name and ask Kanye to donate money to you. Stop with your fake community politics and lies. Truth is you haven't been able to sustain the foundation. I saw you at our studio a few weeks ago. So why didn't you bring this up then? At Rhyme Fest. You were trying to get Kanye to listen to your subpar beats. You had the audacity to use Kanye's mom's name to try and shed a negative light on Kanye. You didn't say this when Kanye paid you up front and then you disappeared during Pablo. Hashtag real friends at Rhymefest. You better believe I will make it my mission to take Donda's house away from you and let my children run it the way it should be run at Rhymefest. Oh, and lastly, your flight canceled to Wyoming. You thought you were really worthy to be on this album? Then she says, fuck, I spelled leveraging wrong. Typing while pissed will do that to you. Then finally, Kim says, sorry to all of my followers for flooding my timeline. I know you have no idea who Rhymefest is. Honey, when I tell you Kim Kardashian is a mess, okay? So she wrote all of that. And then Christy Teigen with her messy ass, she should be at home breastfeeding her damn son that she done had, okay? So instead of damn breastfeeding her son, she's sitting here getting herself involved in this damn situation. So Christy Teigen then posts a gift of Kim Kardashian peeking out the bushes to try and be messy. And when I tell you social media drug her ass and they drug Kim Kardashian, the entire situation was a hot damn mess, honey. First, I want to read to you what Rhymefest had to say to Kim Kardashian's tweets. Go ahead and check this out. So Ryan Fest says, Dear Kim Kardashian West, I don't care if no one on your timeline knows who I am. The people in my community and in my city do, and that's what truly matters to me. Your husband and I have been in correspondence for the last two months, which, as you stated, you saw me in the studio recently. Kanye asked me if I would come help him with his album again. I wasn't seeking Kanye, he was seeking me. I spoke to your husband about peace and balance, as well about the work that we have been doing in Chicago regarding Donda's house. He was more interested in his record. Understand that the mission of Donda's house has always been the value of a collaboration, community, and empowering the youth to pursue their creative goals and dreams. What part about that would make it worthy of you or anyone else destroying it? 
speak to the 500 plus youth that we've worked with, show up to the upcoming auditions that we have scheduled for young people to perform at festivals this upcoming Friday. Foot the bill as we have done for you to record or contract more of your famous friends to actually come and sit with the youth. How can you criticize an organization that you've never physically been to, you've never even talked to the executive director or any of the team? And lastly, I actually knew and was mentored by Dr. Donda West personally and have met with and spoke to hundreds of her students and mentees who not only support the work that we are doing in Chicago, but are compelled by it. At this point, if you and Kanye want us to dissolve this organization so that you can do the work, we welcome that. And we will continue from our home on the south side of Chicago to do what we can to support the community. We've worked for five years to build in spite of you and Kanye's lack of interest or support. You have not been privy to the conversations that we have had, the emails that have been sent, and frankly, the positive press that Kanye has received as a result of our work. I encourage you, instead of attacking me personally, to Google us, watch our videos on our YouTube channel featuring our work, and come actually speak to the young people who have been involved in our program before you. In your position of privilege, from God knows where in the world via social media, an attempt to dismantle this valued community asset, you and your team know how to get in contact with me. We'll be awaiting your decision because our community will be okay regardless. Sincerely, Chai Rhymefest Smith. Honey, when I tell you Rhymefest was not here for the foolishness, and he read Kim like a damn book, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, on Saturday, Donda's House Verified Twitter account basically released a statement saying that they were gonna basically change their name and they were gonna step away from Kanye West because of basically the disrespect from his wife. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Donda's House had to say. So Donda's House says this, final statement from Donda's House Inc., Due to recent events that have occurred over the last 48 hours, we have decided to no longer use the name Donda's House, Inc. This has been an incredibly difficult decision, but the social media quotes from Kim Kardashian West, and as well as the express interest of her family running the organization, has brought us to this decision. We have put our students and our community first. We'd like to thank all of our supporters, and we assure you that our hearts have always been with the city of Chicago, and we will continue to support the youth in our future endeavors, and we encourage Kim and Kanye to indeed pick up the baton of service. We will reach out to all our partners in the coming weeks regarding the next steps. All right, so you guys just heard that statement from Donda's house. So after that statement went viral, Kim Kardashian this morning now has taken to Twitter and basically she's explaining herself and explaining the entire situation. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys right now. Damn it, I feel like mother damn goose, okay? Check this out. So Kim Kardashian says, let me break this all the way down. Kanye and Donda started a charity called Loop Dreams. When Donda passed, they changed the name to Donda's house. Kanye paid Rhymefest a salary to run it. After several years of lack of performance from the organization and Kanye going through personal financial issues, he could no longer fund salaries. Rhymefest asked to take it over and Kanye agreed with no financial strings attached. Kanye gave his friend an opportunity to run an organization on his own. So now that Kanye is being publicly shamed for not being involved makes no sense. And at this exact time seems very calculated. I have and will always applaud the efforts to give back to the community, to fight for justice, and to help uplift the youth. But I will never tolerate someone who was close to Kanye who attempts to use his late mother's name to publicly shame him while pretending to do good. I will always ride for my man. All right, so you guys just heard Kim Kardashian break everything down. So this is my opinion on all of this foolishness that went down on social media. You know, a lot of the things that Kim said originally kind of bothered me. One, when she was talking about, you know, uh, Rhyme Fest wearing fake Yeezys, you know, and things like that. It's like, why even bring that up? Because real Yeezys are about six to $700 and half those kids on the south side of Chicago couldn't afford them any damn ways, okay? And then when she made mention to say that, you know, she'd rather take the organization back from them than have her children run it. My thing is her kids are so far removed from Chicago. They have no connection to the south side of Chicago. So why would you not want the people who are in that community 
community, who know those kids, who know the youth of that area, why would you not have them continue to run the organization? I feel like her saying that was not only devaluing, but it was also demeaning Rhymefest and everything he's done. And then also her apologizing to her followers and saying, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sure that most of y'all don't even know who Rhymefest is. I thought that was a slap in the face, especially being that Rhymefest was good enough to help write songs on your husband's past albums, okay? Rhymefest has been in the game for years. And like he says, a lot of people on the south side of Chicago know him. So to him, that's all that matters. He basically helped your husband to get to where he's at today musically. So for you to try and just dismiss his efforts and act like he's just some small person because he's not as big as a Kanye West or a Kim Kardashian, to me is insulting. Now, another thing I find really funny about this situation is that if you don't know, Pusha T was talking about how Kanye West dropped $85,000 to license a photo of Whitney Houston's bathroom and all the drug paraphernalia. That's what they use for Pusha T's album cover. So my thing is, if Kanye West could license that for $85,000, he could have took that same money and sent it over to Donda's house organization to go help them. You know, so it's funny that Kim is talking about, you know, her man going through financial issues and, you know, struggling financially. Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian and her family are worth millions of dollars. So if that's your man and you're, you know, the ride or die chick and I'm always gonna have my man's back, then why couldn't you help him financially help fund Donda's house if that really meant that much to you? After all, this is your children's grandmother's foundation. So why not help? I bet you Kim would have no problem cutting a check if it was something under Kris Jenner's foundation or something for her own mother. You know, so this whole situation is just insane. But at the end of the day, you know, Kim said her piece, Rhymefest said his piece, and I think it's probably better that both people go their separate ways because obviously Rhymefest is not being treated with the respect that he deserves and he's not being treated with the loyalty that he expected from Kanye West. So this entire situation is really sad that it ended like this, but I'm not shocked at all. But the sad part is until the organization figures out what they're going to do, where they're going to get the funding from, the people who are really affected by this entire blow up are the kids on the south side of Chicago. And I think that's the saddest part of this entire situation. Kim Kardashian's good. Kanye's good. Their children are good. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, Rhymefest is okay, but it's those kids in the inner cities of Chicago that are going to have to suffer because of this social media back and forth. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Kim Kardashian, Rhymefest, Christy Teigen being messy and getting involved, Kanye West, and then now Donda's house coming out and saying that they're going to change the name and they're backing away from Kanye West and Kim Kardashian altogether. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.